Before performing takeoff in Mudshark, you'll need to import your plans and ensure the scale is correct. In this tutorial, we'll go through all the tools you'll need to set up your plans correctly. Before importing any plans, it's good practice to check what pages from your PDF files you'll need to import. We recommend only bringing in plans that contain data relevant to Mudshark calculations. First, let's navigate to the Plans tab, above the ribbon. Here you can see all the plan related tools. Click on Insert Plan. Mudshark can open and read PDF files, CAD or DWG files, and all common image formats. When inserting a PDF file, Mudshark will ask what pages you'd like to import. If you're unsure, either open the PDF externally and take note of the page numbers, or use the inbuilt preview system. Once you've checked only the pages you want, click on Import. When first importing a plan, Mudshark attempts to correctly scale the plan for you. If you're working with a CAD file like DWG, this is most always correct, but it's worth checking to make sure. But for PDFs and images, as these files don't store scale data, you'll need to resize these yourself using Mudshark's scale tool. First, select the plan you wish to modify from the window on the right. If done correctly, this will highlight your plan in the viewport. Click on Scale. Now draw a line across a known length. Left click to place a point, then move and left click again to end the line. If you're working with a PDF or DWG, Hold SHIFT to snap the cursor to nearby points, increasing the accuracy of your input. Now enter the correct length in metres for metric, or feet for imperial users. After scaling, you should visually notice the plan move. If you ever lose track of your plan, click on the Zoom Fit button in the viewport to refocus the view. When working with multiple plan files, you may need to adjust their positions with the Move tool. Again, first select the plan you want to move, then click the Move tool from the ribbon. Left click a point on your plan you wish to move, then left click again to move the plan to that new location. You can also use the Move tool to stitch plans together for large projects. Scale both plans correctly, then move one side of the plan to the other. Repeat as many times as necessary. If one or more of your plans is not rotated correctly, then you can adjust the axis at any time using either the Rotate Left and Rotate Right tool, or Rotate Custom. With your plan selected, clicking on either Rotate Left or Right will spin the plan clockwise or anti-clockwise by 90 degrees. To make smaller adjustments, click on Rotate Custom. Here, we enter an angle, then click the left or right button as many times as desired. If you're happy with your result, click on OK. Otherwise, click Cancel to revert any rotations made. Very often, plan files will contain lots of data that you're not interested in, simply taking up space and cluttering the screen. You can hide these unnecessary layers on your plan by locating the plan on the right and clicking on the drop down arrow to the left of its name. Uncheck any layers here that you don't need to improve visibility before performing your takeoff, making your life easier.